Okay, so Simon Hall. Yes, so we continue. We can continue. Okay, let's continue. So uh, for Eterno, uh, we are now doing the uh, the highway project. Right. Mhm. Mm so who is Simon Hall, my Minister of Economy? I can do that because uh, I think James is already Lilia's grass, right? I don't uh, remember. Yeah, I'll do. Or I was Lilia's, but I don't. It doesn't really matter, really. Yeah, we can just swap. I don't mind. Yeah. Okay. okay, I'll take Simon Hall and James takes the left grass. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good. <laughs> Besides starting our economic recovery, the travel time between roads will drop by more than half, Mr. President. This project will improve the Ang Angland region. <laughs> I have lived with these people and seen them suffer. I trust your plan, Simon. Or two. I hope so, Lilius. Uh, let's do two. The aim to economically strengthen this weak region will be partially accomplished. According to my est uh, estimations, this project will give about 50,000 citizens from Angland employment. One, what will it take to stop the recession? It's too late to talk about that right now. Two, what kind of end results do we expect? That's maybe better. Three, failure during this project is not an option. That doesn't make sense. And four, do you need additional support? No, never never tell you salvage, but do you need more? Because people will never say no. We are going to do with two. What kind of end results do we expect? Short-term employment and long-term economic development in the Nargis and Angland regions. The underdeveloped cities of Lenkerd and Arvori will receive a lot more investment after this. Simon searched the documents he was holding and found the one he was looking for. I have the overview of the companies here. They handed over the files to me. I look at the files. Uh, three corporations were listed. The Swordish State Corporation, the Underhall Construction, and the Taurus Holding. I reviewed them. I also took the liberty of asking the mayor of Arvory to give his opinion on the matter. Which corporation should we talk about? Let's oh, with, here it is. Let's start with the Swordish State Corporation. The respected Swordish State Corporation, also known as the SSC, was founded in 1891. It's the main state corporation tasked with running day-to-day -day construction services of the country. The SCC is one of our most trusted and honorable companies. They have served us a long time. I have worked with them on several occasions. I would, I would fulfill your initial election promise. State-dominant planned economy the bleak economic prospects. They have the experience and the manpower to pull off a project like this. Lydia's paused for a second. Secondly, they are the only company to have worked in the Anglan region out of all three corporations. Oh, the only company. The outdated construction methods that they use concern me. They are several decades behind. One, the experience they bring to the table, beneficial. Two, the lack of a modern attitude is disappointing. I have to say two, I think. Yes, so you know what, how badly it is, I think. I don't agree with the negative statements for the SSC. Their record clearly shows completed contracts with thousands of employees, 20 years of experience. Your your microphone was cutting a little bit away for me. I don't know if Eternal heard it as well. I, I heard it. Okay. I don't know why. Uh, okay, so... so he, she is, uh, yeah, she is from this region, so she will always defend that, that company because she doesn't know anything else. So, uh, one, I am on the fence about the SSC. Two, I like the SSC, but want to hear about the others. Three, 
I have settled. No. no. Uh, what is the underhaul construction? Well, we already know, I think, but let's see. The real estate and construction giant was founded in 1925. They expanded during the economic boom of the 30s. Pegging this corporation would go against our planned economy policy. The CEO of Underhaul is Chris Shar, the major of Cornria. He sold half of his shares a few years ago. I had to work with Underhaul Construction before in a whole... So they took several contracts for the central station renovation and left much to be desired. The H3 project shouldn't be left to them. One, I would like to hear your thoughts, Simon. Two, how was your experience with them? Let's ask Simon as well. I think that they have been doing relatively well in the private sector, where they are dominating the construction industry with successful projects. Nonetheless, they treated their workers below our working standards during the Holsland Central Station contract, which is troubling. One, working conditions must be respected. That doesn't inspire confidence. Or two, we need to be able to trust the corporation. This is a base requirement for the contract. Number one, maybe? Number two. Or two. They indeed did work on three significant infrastructure projects. But, during the station project, we had to extensively negotiate with the union as to not lose the labor laws violation case. Underhaul has specifically mentioned their solid track record and highlighted that the cost of the project would be more than expected for the project at this scale, but finished on time. Hmm. I'm not sure about Underhaul Construction. 2. Underhaul seems interesting, but let's see the others. 3. I have settled on Underhaul Construction minus one government budget. Oh, let's see the others. Taurus Holding. What about Taurus? Taurus Holding was founded in 1946 and is owned by the entrepreneur Gerald Face. It's a new holding company that <laughs> varies to use cutting-edge technology from Arcadia to reduce construction costs and prices. They are known to provide for their workers and are part of the labor union of Solent. Hmm. There are other things Tar Tartarus does very well, like providing consulates for the state corporations, but I can't vouch for their infrastructure construction at all. Uh, why should we pick Taurus? Taurus has completed fewer projects than the other companies, however, they are slightly faster and cheaper. It won several awards internationally for being one of the fastest growing and advanced companies. The innovative aspect is refreshing, especially if they can deliver. Two, it seems like they lack the necessary experience. Well, I like one. Yes, I, like I do too. They were only involved in smaller scale regional projects. This doesn't prove their capabilities for larger undertakings that are more complex. The project manager from Taurus Holding mentioned that they would be able to finish the project with the allocated funds. They would be the only company who found the budget sufficient making them the cheaper alternative. That is quite hmm. good. I don't feel confident it's worth considering or I have settled. I what mean, it is do? worth considering. It is, yes. Mm -hmm. It's time to make a decision about which company to award the H3 highway contract to. And now, which yet, it's your job to make the right decision. Which chat knows all. So 100% we will settle for underhaul construction? To make our glorious Mr. Tusk the Overlord happy, right? 
Right? Underhall makes you friends without taking the bribe. It does. It does. Uh huh. Maybe we should do that, actually. And we can be. Don't fall for the capitalists! <laughs> <laughs> So you get less money, and the same result does not seem wise. Do you know what I should have done? Just, yeah. just uh, take the, the maximum bribe and take something else. <laughs> <laughs> stay planned? Should we stay planned? I don't know. I, I think not, but Twitch chat shows that, so... If we go with two, then we break our plant economy. Focus. Well, I like number three, three. Personally. Three? Uh, I like three after reading what they were doing. I like what they do. And they don't want any more money than what we have proposed. But they've never done this before, so how do they know? If That's they true. Time? That's true. That is very true. I don't know. You're the president, Mr. Dutchie. And we have Nico saying goedkoop, duurkoop, and it means actually, uh, is it cheap? Then it's then you buy it expensive. Yeah, <laughs> that's a typical Dutchy uh, things to say, because we are all about money. So we should go for the more expensive option. Definitely, it's the better. One. I mean, if we, if we do two, uh, we break our promise, say. but we will have a very good highway, and we are friends with the oligarchs. The we only bad thing is that we budget. lose a bit of government budget. But we have we still have two. Are they also the ones who mistreated their workers? That could have an impact later on. We'll just, just, the we'll just uh, sign a law that they cannot do that anymore, right? <laughs> Wait, so so they're breaking the law? Just get rid of the law. So that we're I'll not just make a new law that they are they mistreat workers. They have to yeah, but the SSC is just um... inefficient and slow. That's true. It has I mean, to be one... nice. Will will yeah. will the towers holding deliver? That's the question. That's the big question. The good cop. Yeah, they did cop. mistreat workers. Yep. The Bravo, <laughs> they do. Yeah. I just gotta repeat that. Taurus is shit. <laughs> so probably he will be even more favorable. He will come back with an offer. That's true. He can come back with an offer. For two million. Uh-huh. We're not gonna do two because he can still come back with an offer. If you wanted to show him how strong you are with your decision making. By not taking a bribe. Can we just go one then? What? No! <laughs> Everyone just wants something else. <laughs> well, I think, personally, I think one seems like the worst option. Just because you're not going to get anything and it might just completely fail. At least with number two, you'll get something. Uh, number three, number might three it might work. Yeah, that's true as well. Let's go with three, and if the other hall construction makes another ripe attempt, we go with them. <laughs> no, you can't decide anything else after this one. It's fixed. oh shit. Oh, okay, never mind. Hmm. You have to eat the soup that you choose here. Yes. Very salty soup, I imagine. Oh, Twitch chat, help! I need help. You know everything. Tell us. Please, where is your words of wisdom now? I will 100% go for number two. This is my Now We have two vote for two. The turn is saying two. Okay, we are going to do it. Two. Time for two. Simon signed a certain section of the dossier and fixed his glasses. Very well, Mr. President. The contract will be awarded to Underhall Construction. I wish the choice was different, but at the end of the day, the success of the project is what matters. 
<laughs> Too bad Rats isn't here anymore. <laughs> the company will be notified today and the construction work will begin immediately after. I think we are off to a good start or two. That is great news. Three, good luck to us. One. Yeah. My expectations for a grand opening ceremony are late next year. If you're still alive. You know, <laughs> I better get back to work then. Thank you. The meeting ended and we spent the remainder of the day attending events in Lankwork. It's nice to enjoy the natural beauty of Ag Agon land and eat some good fish. Right. Government budget decreased. We have one budget left, we have two economy, and we have one wealth. What can possibly go wrong now? I know. Construction begins. Under construction been awarded a two-year contract for the infrastructure. Uh, under all provide several structures, including ground retaining walls and turf rocks for the highway. Uh, Underhall said it could be built in line at a much lower cost according to a letter seen by The Economist. But the Interior Minister Graf had warned letting Underhall construction build H3 would be extremely questionable. A3 project involves the widening of hundreds of kilometers of existing motorway between Lackhaven and Alvary, including an open tunnel near 3 kilometers long. Which uh, newspaper is this? Uh, that was a state one, right? Yeah. The whole or, uh, It's the more conservative one. The conservative one, yeah. Who conservative? Oh. Yeah, because we know that Lydia's graph is a conservative and she didn't like it. Well, she looks like a conservative. Oh, oops, sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we are building the highway. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, see what we have here. Read the report from Narble. Situation report. The Ministry of Defense reports that the situation along the border is getting tense. Rumbrook's southern army was sighted training close to our borders. They did not respond after we issued a radio message. Chief of Armed Force General Kruger reports to have increased patrolling duties along the northern border to signal readiness. We will not be the aggressor. Nope. Uh, I agree. Turno, there is a bot in my chat. Please ban. Thank you very much. All gone. Uh, what do we have here? In Andrika, local police working with the nationalists. Oh no. One of our agents acting as Young Swords member had an encounter with two members of the local police force in Andrika. Olsen Bolar and Vic Neje. According to the report, the policeman tried to bribe the agent to burn down a store that belongs to a known Communist Party member and to instigate further violence. They have detained the policeman on charges of corruption. Okay, so things were done. That's very bad. Uh, what is in Conriad? Meeting with Marcel Coronti. We were headed to the meeting location set by Marcel Coronti. That was the guy who invited us, right, for a talk? Was it? I don't remember. Yes. It that was, took okay. over from his oh, father. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The motorcade was made up of the most confidential and trustworthy team. After a few hours of driving along River Eskel, we took a turn before entering Conriad. Darkness started setting in as we drove up to the hill. Where are we, Surge? Who is going to be Surge? Who is Surge? We are right. nearing the HOS Country Club, Mr. President. The Country Club of the Heart of Swordland. We'll be there shortly. We arrived and the big iron gate of the country club opened. It was huge. It was huge. And outright huge. extravagant. The main building, inspired by lesbian architecture, was lit from all sides. It was rather chilly. It was approached by Peter Vectern and Lucian Gallade. Peter. Can I be Peter? Sure. Yes. <clears throat> I hope the journey was comfortable. The location is very remote indeed. Or two, anything to keep me away from home. No. Three. No. <laughs> it wasn't bad. I'm looking forward to this meeting. Four, I can't think of comfort when our country is descending into chaos. Yes. Four, four yes. I can't think of That's comfort. When you put it like that... We entered the building. <laughs> After opening the marble and grey wooden door, we were greeted by two tall women. 
The receptionist led us to the meeting room upstairs. Marcel was standing by the window, looking outside at the beautiful complex. He turned around to have a quick look at us both. He was a really handsome man with fair hair. He walked towards me with his hand reached out for a handshake. Sure, I will reach out for a handshake. He had a firm grip. Who was Lucian? Uh, read this guy then. Yeah. It is were. such it is such a pleasure to meet you in person, Mr. Cronty. I appreciate your efforts to reach out mutually beneficial friendship. Thanks for hosting us. I admire your father. I admired your father very much. May he rest in peace. Should it be Marcel's self itself? That's weird, right? I don't know. Uh, what. Oh, okay. I will do him as well. <clears throat> Welcome. Your kind words have touched me, Vice President. He was indeed a great man. May he rest in peace. He was a true entrepreneur. Please accept our condolences. We are saddened. Um, be respectful. Yes, I agree. <laughs> just stay silent. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? Yeah, just so. Oh, he was a great guy. And nothing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just nothing. He would have been very happy to heal us from you, Mr. President. It's time to look forward. Let's talk about our bright future. Yes, there is much to discuss, or let's have a seat. Uh, or, I heard about your meteoric rise. Meteoric rise in HOS? What does what does that mean? Uh, HOS is his firm, I think. Or it's the business council, I'm not entirely sure. Let's have a seat. I think that's... yeah. Marshall gently poured at the seats. We sat down around a gigantic table before speaking... It knocked on wood. Uh, the past months have been tumultuous, to say the least. I'm very glad you and your family were unharmed at the shooting. The whole incident must have been a shock for the kids. They aren't used to what we lived through back in the 20s. I still remember when my father took us out of the country when it became too dangerous and Conrad. They were startled, but the important thing is, they are safe and sound. Two, spare me your life story, Mr. Coronti. Three, I stayed and served my country dutifully. I think one, because, I mean, you care about your family, so... Yeah. Of course. But that's all that matters. No family should suffer from the tragedy ever again. We've had enough of that. Well, I am known to be a straightforward person. So let me get to the point without asking, without wasting your valuable time. It was during the Alphonse campaign when I was struck by what you have done within the party. I also started to look at one of the paintings at the wall. Look at the painting. Two, give Lucian a puzzled look. Wait, let me try a puzzled look. Let me go on a Twitch to see. Three. This. Look at Marcel. <laughs> That's a nice be... puzzled look. <laughs> look I, four. I like... Let me be straightforward. Sit down and get to the damn point. I, I like that he says he wants to go straightforward and then he just goes off on a tangent about anything else. Well, I mean, right now he's just staring at the painting blankly, so. So I do like number four. <laughs> No. I'm gonna look at the painting. I observed the painting. The famous piece depicted in a giant sleeping beneath the village. Trees, rivers and hills were all a part of the giant's body. Its eyes were two caves looking up at the people. It showed daylight at the far left and night time. Night time at the far right. The giant seemed to be watching the village. He was totally Unbeknownst. Unbeknownst. Yeah, that's how you say it. Good job. To the villagers. That's the first time I saw the word unbeknownst. Unbeknownst. 
Marshall pointed his finger at me. Point, point. You said you will transform this nation, Mr. Rain. My conglomerate has a way of doing things, and I don't want it to change. So I want to cooperate with you. Cooperate? Two. Please explain further. Three. Intent is mutual. Four. Keep going. Four. Keep going. Four. You might have the people support for now, Mr. President, but what happens when you make mistakes? Everybody makes mistakes. What is that supposed to mean? Let me do another puzzled look. <laughs> Let's hear the point. Let's hear his point, Vice President. Being a president in this country means having many enemies. And means that would resort to anything to bring you down. Let's say these enemies caused scandal or leaked sensitive information from the administration. That would be destructive when they were released. If they were released. Is he bribing? Everyone, everyone's trying to get into your head, Mr. President. <laughs> they are all bribing me. They have some information and they, <laughs> they're going to use it against me. Should we just shoot him to the head now and say it was someone else? Oh, wait, yes. I, have to, I have to make a decision. Uh, I see where you are getting at. So, two, continue. Three, you are playing a dangerous game. Four, are you threatening me? Four? Yes. Four. Because it sounds like he's threatening you. Or would you say, continue, because we don't believe he can do anything to us. Continue. Yeah, whatever. Your choice, Mr. President. Choice, Mr. Four President. Four sounds weak. I mean... That's true. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. Let's do two. Continue. Yeah, that's true. Continue. Uh, assume that the articles would actually protect your integrity no matter what. Try to imagine how up to five million people... I reach will not lose faith in you. Let's hear your offer. Two. What do you want in return? Three. You aren't just being nice, are you? Number two for more information? I don't know. What does Twitch chat say? Two. 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 All right, I can agree on that. I want two things, Mr. President. Number one is a guarantee from you that the Ukraine administration won't meddle in the HOS affairs, no matter what happens. Number two is a simple gentleman's favor for the future. Let me prove my services to you first, and I'm sure you won't disapprove when the time comes. This is far too risky for me. Two, this is an interesting proposal. Three, how do I know that I can trust you? Never give card blanche. Should we do three? Number three, yeah. I, I wouldn't just three. give that. No, I don't trust this man. Me neither. Let's my circle advised against us. They don't even know that we're meeting, Mr. President. We both put ourselves at risk here, but I'm willing to trust you. The question is, are you willing to trust me and accept this offer? You have been awfully silent, Peter. Peter leaned to my ears and whispered, I think he's getting more out of this uh, than we are. The issue tied to his request must be so important to him that he's offering this risky deal. We need to be cautious. If we get caught or this gets out, I can't imagine the consequence. Marshall interrupted us. So, do we have a deal? 
No. <laughs> oh. Deal. I'm 100% for this deal. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. <sighs> no, you have the other capitalist on your side, probably. That's true. But what about having both of them on your side? If one of them betrays you, you can play the other against them. But we cannot trust this guy. We cannot trust him. We don't know <laughs> what he's going to do. He, 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 he can do whatever you want. Whatever we say here. At least he didn't try to bribe you. So I guess he has more honor than the other guy. Uh, that's something to say, yes. That is something... You can, that always re you can always reject his card, Blanche. That's true. I think I'm going to reject this. It's not good enough for me as president of this country. What does he think? That he can just... Just tell me and 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 based on trust that I'm gonna be with him. It sounds like if you trust him, he's your pawn now, or you're his pawn rather. He has Where control would you of be? you. Yeah, so he we have to has reject control of the media. That's true. And Isco is uh, redeeming true. a highlighted message. Let's make the world red again. No. <laughs> he will probably take you down if you take a deal. That is true. Why would he take you down? You, he wants because he has control. money. He does. But you also and have I mean, money. But he controls the media too, so if you make him unhappy, he, the media. he can spread lies. He can spread lies about you. Yes. But that means that if I at some point don't agree with him, that he can do it eventually also after a couple of deals. Sure. We just have to assume that he is going to do it anyway. Whatever yeah. we do. So why not say immediately that we don't have a deal? And the other capital is set to say hi. Oh yeah. <laughs> but we are not going to do that, of course. <laughs> because then he, he, then he thinks that we are with the other guy. Oh yeah. Then he thinks that we are with the other guy. Maybe he is going to put more money on the table. Yeah, it's all about uh, making friends. There's nothing that ties you to him, if you end up going back on the deal. I will reject. Alright. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> Such a shame, Mr. President, and here I thought we were going to be good friends. Oh, but we can still be good friends, I just did not accept the deal. It's a shame, really. Goodbye, Mr. Coronti. F you. Or two. Remember who you are speaking to, Mr. Coronti. That's an F you. <laughs> I regret coming here to see you. Goodbye. That's... I think two. Sir, your power. But maybe we can wait for the lies to spread on the news if I just say goodbye, Mr. Coronti. That's true. And not make him angry. He probably is already angry, though. He's just saying he's ashamed. Look at his face. He's looking very, very happy, right? Yes. That looks sinister. He is Rupert Murdoch, so he will spread the lies now. What the hell? Goodbye, Mr. Coronti. No, we will stay presidential. Let's leave. He left the complex and entered the car. I thought that would have ended better. <laughs> it was your idea. <laughs> he pushed it too far. Well, that's true. I mean, he did push it too yeah. far. The threats were unacceptable. Go to whole sword. I completely agree with what Lucian said there. We are the president and we will not be bribed. Exactly. 